i in this video let's see few more multiple choice questions and this video is a continuation of the previous video which i posted right so the immunoglobulins found in exocrine secretion IgG, IgD, IgM and IgA so as I have previously discussed IgA is a secretory immunoglobulin produced by the plasma cells lining mucosal and glandular epithelium so we have basically serum IgA and secretory IgA and the only immunoglobulin found in secretion such as saliva is IgA right now moving on to the next question most antibodies are produced in heart and liver brain and meninges thymus and appendix or spleen and lymph nodes so usually antibodies are produced by plasma cells which differentiate from B lymphocytes so we have B lymphocytes which give rise to plasma cells or in other words plasma cells are differentiated from B lymphocytes and these plasma cells produce antibodies right and within this plasma cells endoplasmic reticulum is the organelle where the synthesis of antibodies occur right so this is the lineage where B lymphocytes differentiate into plasma cells and most of the antibodies are produced by plasma cells however few lymphocytes and lymphoblasts and some other transition cells are also involved in production of antibodies right that's important so these lymphocytes originate from lymph nodes and spleen so antibodies are produced from spleen as well as lymph nodes right now moving on to the next question immunoglobulin implicated in atopy and anaphylaxis so both anaphylaxis and atopy are type 1 hypersensitivity reactions so we have atopy and anaphylaxis so both of them come under type 1 hypersensitivity reaction right however the difference lies in this anaphylaxis is an acute fatal and systemic kind of reaction whereas atopy it's quite opposite to that of anaphylaxis atopy is chronic it's non-fatal and a localized form of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction so that's the difference between atopy and anaphylaxis so no matter what kind of hypersensitivity type 1 hypersensitivity reaction it is and also as discussed in the previous video no matter which allergic reaction it is the most common antibody associated with these kind of reactions is IgE so option A is the answer for this question so Ig is implicated in atopy, anaphylaxis, various allergic reactions or manifestations such as hay fever, eczema and asthma etc. Right? And now moving on to the next question. Synthesis of various antibodies in plasma cells occurs in, so I have been repeatedly discussing this, it's endoplasmic reticulum so to discuss few aspects about plasma cell so plasma cell is usually oval in shape it is twice larger compared to a small lymphocyte and it contains a oval shaped nucleus which is eccentrically present and it also contains numerous chromatin material peripherally giving a characteristic cartwheel appearance right so this is a structure of a plasma cell so we have oval shaped nucleus with peripheral chromatin material giving it a cartwheel appearance and it contains lot of cytoplasm and abundant endoplasmic reticulum and golgi apparatus and these plasma cells as discussed previously synthesize antibodies within endoplasmic reticulum so the organelle where the synthesis of antibodies occur is endoplasmic reticulum right so these are few more questions and few more important points pertaining the, to these model questions so in subsequent videos let's discuss more multiple choice questions on one side and notes on the other